May June 2023, Paper 5, Variant 1. Question 1. This question is about the partition coefficient. And the solvent that used is the ethoxy ethane and water. These two solvents, they are immiscible. That's why it can form partition later. And the solute that used is the butane dioic acid. And this butane direct acid, it can distribute in the two organic sovereign. So therefore, these two sovereigns, they will have different concentration of the butane direct acid. Once we know the concentration of the uh, butane direct acid in each layer, then we can get the KPC. So we just follow this one okay, to calculate the KPC or to get the KPC. Okay, the density of this ethoxy ethane is given 0 0.71 water is 1 gram per cm cube which means when we do the separation the lower layer must be water because water uh, it has a higher density so therefore the lower layer it must be the water right ethoxy uh, ethane is always the top layer Okay, so the student used the following method to find the partition coefficient. Okay, a diagram given in figure 1.1. Right? So uh, it's involved uh, quite a number of steps. Okay, this is a figure uh, for the separation. Um, I, I try to go through step by step, then you uh, will understand uh, what is happening. Okay, for the step 1, 30 cm cube of the water uh, added to this uh, separating funnel. So this is the separating funnel. Initially, add water inside. And after that, add the 2.81 gram of butane direct acid into the separating funnel. Okay, and try to shake it and dissolve the butane direct acid in water first. Okay, after that, we try to add the organic solvent into the um, the aqueous solution okay so after that we shake again uh, so this one is the okay step four remove the stopper and add 30 cm cube of ethoxy ethane to the same funnel after that uh, shake the separating funnel again and For the step 6, place the separating funnel into the clamp. Allow the liquid to settle. So you can see two layers. So means this one take times. Let them to settle. And after that, remove the stopper and open the separating funnel. And allow the lower layer to run into the pickle, which label A. And run the upper layer into pickle B. So which look like this. So lower layer, which is the aqueous layer, okay, run into the pickle A, and the upper layer run into pickle B, then do for use use it for titration. Okay, step eight and step nine is a titration. Okay, step eight, transfer ten cm cube of aqueous layer into the conical flask, titrate with zero point five mole per dm cube sodium hydroxide. You uh, the time of the lane as indicator uh, so this one is for the aqueous layer okay once uh, we get the uh, solution uh, the aqueous solution in pickle A we just take 10 cm cube from this pickle uh, initially it's just 30 uh, the dcm cube okay please remember only the dcm cube of distilled water so this one is roughly the dcm cube but we just take 10 cm cube for titration and this <coughs> uh, solution means uh, now inside this uh, echo solution is going to have the acid and the acid now titrate with sodium hydroxide okay and the concentration of sodium hydroxide is 0 0.5 mole per dm cube so we will get certain volume of this uh, sodium hydroxide we can get the mole of sodium hydroxide 
Okay, after that, for the step 9, 10 cm cube from the ethoxy ethene layer means the upper layer here. We take 10 cm cube. After that, we need to add 10 cm cube of H2O to this um, the organic layer, organic solvent. After that, we try to titrate it using the sodium hydroxide. So it's 0 0.1 mole per dm cube concentration. Use the same indicators. Uh, this is what happened uh, for this uh, uh, the extraction and titration. All right. Okay, for part A1, state whether bigger A in the step 7 contains the aqueous layer or the ethoxy ethane. Uh, this one I told you just now. The lower layer is always the, the aqueous layer. So means in pickle A, it must be the aqueous layer. So why? Because of the density. So because water has a greater density than the ethoxy ethane, so okay, it will be the uh, lower layer. Okay, part two. Identify the piece of apparatus that should be used in step eight to transfer 10 cm cube of aqueous layer for the titration. So we take 10 cm cube from the pickle A. So we better use 10 cm cube volumetric pipette. So this is this is the apparatus that we always use in the lab. Part three: suggest why water is added to the ethoxy ethane layer in step nine before titration. Um, because uh, the titration using uh, sodium hydroxide solution. And this one is aqueous solution. If we use this sodium hydroxide direct titrate with the ethoxy ethane layer, it cannot mix well, and uh, it won't really uh, fully react. That's why we need to, to use the 10 cm cube of water first to get the amount of butane dioxide acid from the the organic solvent. Then we can use the sodium hydroxide. Okay, to titrate with the uh, the acid so that's the reason why so to let the butane dioxide acid transfer into the water the 10 cm cube water uh, first right before the titration okay so this part is the calculation for uh, 2.81 gram sample of butane dioxide acid. The title for the aqueous layer is 27.25. This one is based on the 10 cm cube of the solution. Okay, and the title for this uh, ethoxy ethane is 22.5 cm cube. Is equation given? Uh, we just need to know the uh, mole ratio between the butane dioxide acid with the sodium hydroxide so it's one to two mole ratio okay part one calculate the concentration of butane dioxide acid in the aqueous layer okay first we find the mole of sodium hydroxide okay concentration already given 0 0.5 mole per dm cube times the volume 27.25 over thousand so we get the mole here so the mole of the butane dioxide acid must be half because it's 1 to 2 mole ratio. So this one must be lesser, lesser by half. So you get 0 0.0068125. Okay, after that, the concentration of the butane dioxide acid in the 10 cm cube of the solution. Uh, so it's this value. Okay, so we just use the mole over the, uh, the volume in dm cube. So we get 0 0.68125 mole per dm cube. Okay, after that, part two, need to calculate the uh, partition coefficient. And this one, uh, in order to get the partition coefficient, we need to get another concentration. We need to get the concentration of the solute in the ethoxy ethane. Uh, we use the same calculation. So MV over 1000, we get the mole of the the uh, sodium hydroxide 
Okay, then divide by two, we get the mole of the butane direct acid. Okay, over 10 cm cube of the solution, the ethoxy ethane solution. Okay, so you get 0 0.1125 mole per dm cube. Okay, so once we get the two concentration, we can substitute the concentration into this capi C, right? Okay, after that we get 0 0.165. Okay, so from here we know that because the capi C is uh, lesser than one, we know that the uh, butane the acid is actually dissolves better in water because the concentration of this acid is greater in the water. Okay, we, we can refer to the KPC. Lesser than one means uh, it has higher concentration is <coughs> in the water layer. Part three, explain why the student is only able to repeat the titration in step eight once. Step eight is the titration of the aqueous layer. Uh, I told you already because the total volume that used is just 30 cm cube. Uh, you have to understand uh, for this one, okay, because here is just 30 cm cube, it's impossible for us to get all the 30 cm cube into pickle A because it must have some loss. Some of the solution it might stay in the separating funnel, or some of the solution might stay in the pickle, stick on the wall of the pickle. So we will not really get exactly the DCM cube. That's why we can just repeat one time, cannot do three times. Means cannot repeat two times. Okay, that's the reason why. Okay, so it is not possible to pipette all the DCM cube. Of the aqueous layer from the pickle as some will always left behind right during the transfer okay part four suggest how you would modify the procedure to ensure the student can repeat the titration in step eight more than once it's quite easy uh, means the initially uh, we have to increase the volume of the water make sure it's more than 30 uh, for example we use 50 cm cube uh, so we can titrate more than uh, one or two times okay part five a different student forget to shake the separating funnel in step five okay describe the effect this would have on the calculator kpc explain your answer very easy because the shaking is not there uh, some of the building direct assay it might not really distribute to the organic layer so Therefore, okay, the concentration of the butane direct acid in the uh, this ethoxy ethane is actually lower than uh, what we get just now from the titration. So when this one is lower, means the KPC is going to be smaller, right? So uh, KPC will be smaller uh, because equilibrium uh, has not been uh, attained and more butane dye acid remains in the aqueous layer. Okay, that's all. Thank you.